Teen Wolf fans are on another level. I thought going into Teen Wolf, I understood. I was like, you know what? I've dealt with crazy fans. I've dealt with fans that are obsessed with their shows. I was like, I'm prepared for this. I was not at all prepared. I'm Oliver Javina here on the Young Hollywood Sofa, joined by the handsome Cody Christian. And obviously, Georgie's already given in. <laughs> Teen Wolf, 5B. 5A yes. was very interesting. Theo's kind of a love-hate guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's interesting because when, uh, when, I, when I was first given the opportunity and I approached the project and the role, um, after I'd gotten it, I'd sat down with the executive producer, Jeff Davis. Right. And I really asked him, I said, what direction do we want to go with this character? And his response to me was, we want Theo to be the guy that everyone loves to hate. Okay. And that's something that, you know, I kind of embraced and enjoyed filming, you know, all, all the way through 5A, was, you know, having that, embodying the character that, that it was going to be on screen, and it's just ultimately going to piss everybody off. It's going to press everyone's buttons, and, um, you know, every week, they're just... Right. They're just, you it know, it happens again and again. It happens again You're and again. You're kind of shouting at But you, you love it, though. Screen. I think that's like Theo and, and having that characteristic in the season is, is kind of what drove, you know, the season forward, right. in my opinion. Right, right. And obviously, Pretty Little Liars, then going into a, a role as a villain, it must be exciting to, to have the change, right? Yeah, it's fun, man. It's fun because in Pretty Little Liars, I had a little character arc in season five, and I got to experiment and play, you know, the side of the bad guy. And, right. Um, Play a, a character that I knew going into it, the audience wasn't going to be in love with, and sometimes that's difficult for people knowing that they're going to portray a character that isn't going to be well received. Right. Um, but you just have to kind of, you know, make that disconnect and just focus about your work, and then you know let the fans of the show embrace it and just react how they wish. But it was fun, man. It was fun leaving a show like ABC Family, Pretty Little Liars, right, right. and going to the the Teen Wolf set, which is a whole different atmosphere, different mood, different show entirely. Um, you know, we have special effects, visual right, effects, right, fight scenes, right. all this crazy stuff, and it was just, it was exciting for me. Okay, I was going to say, is that is that more more pressure when you when you book on a, a role on a show like Teen Wolf and it's already you know been going a few seasons, it's massively successful? Do you feel more pressure going into it? Absolutely, you know, because. The fan base and the um, the demographic for the show was already established. Right. They love the characters that they love because they've had time to grow with these characters, connect to them. So anytime there's a new character being introduced, and, and I'm the one doing it, right. there's always a little bit of trepidation there. And um, you know, really, my, my main objective is just to do the role in the show justice. Right. I right. want to give the fans what they want. And you know, it's their show. It's their. It's almost. It's their baby, so to speak. So I don't want. I don't want to come on and be that character that disrespects that. Right. So I'm always making sure that, you know, I'm 110. percent I'm prepared. I'm focused. Make it all about the work. Mm -hmm. You know, that's. It's. It's the most important thing for me. But yeah, you know, even joining a cast that's worked together, right. a crew that's right. worked together. You know, it's a. What people don't understand is that all these sets, all these crews, all these shows, films, everything. It's like a well-oiled machine. You know, all these parts have to be moving, you know, successfully in order to to generate what they do. Then successful television show. So well, there's always pressure when you're when you're trying to join a cast, see how it works, right. see how people interact and assimilate in that. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely stressful, but it was super easy with Teen Wolf. That set alone is unlike any set that I've ever worked on before. Right, right. And I know people say this all the time in interviews, and they talk about how. You know, their sets are like families, and most of them don't mean it. But I, I do. I truly mean it when I say, like, I'm tight with everyone on the show, right. you know, cast and crew. You know, everyone's there, and they're invested in their work, and they just, they want to put the best of themselves out there. And that's why Teen Wolf is just as kick-ass of a show as it is. It's, it's a great-looking family as well. It's yeah. It's a great. <laughs> it is. It's a great-looking family. Family portraits are family spot portrait. on. Family portrait. I wouldn't like to live next door to that family growing up. <laughs> I'd have so many insecurities. Yeah. And you, you know, you've established a great fan base as well. And, and you mentioned things you're off to New York Comic Con. Have you had any like crazy fan encounters? Because Team Wolf fans and Pretty Little Lies fans, they're like hardcore yeah. in the way of fan bases. They're... You know what the thing is too is I thought, <laughs> I thought going into Team Wolf, I understood. I was like, you know what? I've had, I've dealt with crazy fans. I've dealt with fans that are obsessed with their shows. I was like, I'm prepared for this. Teen Wolf fans are on another level than Pretty Little Liars fans. Pretty Little Liars fans are obsessed with their show, obsessed with their characters. Uh, and I think the difference between it is because with Pretty Little Liars, we have, you know, these heroine type figures, these, right. these, these lady roles, these, these leading females, right? When you get on Teen Wolf, you have these good looking guys right. and that sex appeal and all those hormones get driven into the show. I feel like it's just, it's a different beast. Right. 
you know, the fan base with Teen Wolf, I was not at all prepared. Um, fan encounters, though, I haven't, honestly, I've been pretty lucky, man. I haven't had any any crazy out-of-hand experience. So far. So far. So far. And it doesn't mean do New it. York. No, do it. Do it. <laughs> don't, please We're gonna don't. give a prize for the fan that can come up with the craziest encounter. <laughs> Man, that can just pull something out of the bag. Mate. You know what the funny, now I'm gonna be on guard because if anything absolutely insane happens, I'm just gonna be like, come on, Oliver, really? I've got that much power that I can make someone do that. We'll see, we'll see, <laughs> you never know, you never know. Oh, goodness. But also, uh, away from the TV stuff, movies. Mm -hmm. A couple of big projects. Submerged, Killer Animals. Um, yeah, you know, all those are films that I had shot in the past and they're now just kind of coming to surface, which I'm excited for. And How long ago were they, those films? Because you never know, sometimes... Dude, so I, I finished filming Submerge, the Submerge film, almost a year and a half, two years ago. Wow. Yeah, and like I had completely forgotten about it. And then somebody recently, I'm pretty sure was actually on the set of Teen Wolf, like Dylan O'Brien was talking. We were right, like, right. Sh like just chit-chatting and he had brought it up. And he's like, yeah, I saw something about it. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I almost forgotten I filmed that. Right. Um, so yeah, I have those films coming to surface and you know, just moving forward on the career. My next step is is trying to break in to studio films. Right. Um, so I have a couple opportunities there, just trying to put my best foot forward and um, you know, just kind of do the next thing, which is you know, be a leading role in a studio film. Such a smart head on his shoulders. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just sitting here being like, no, I love, dude. It's that's 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 you know, that's ultimately what I want to be doing too. Right. I love television, I love it to death, but I want to portray a character in a film. That's like my go-to. I love the way that film is shot. I love taking my time with things. I right. love, I just love the atmosphere that's created on a film set more than television. Um, I was gonna so say, you a, get a lot more time. You get a lot to, more time. To play with the, the character mm -hmm. as opposed to TV, right? TV Absolutely. just and You, you know, out. there's so many things that, you know, that are, I guess, left in, in your field. Like, there's so many things you can do creatively as an artist and I feel like it's just, it's a little bit more challenging and it's it's just so much fun. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to that. So, uh, you know, just staying focused, staying out of trouble. Smart and, man, um, smart man. Trouble can, for that opera. Yeah. trouble can be fun. Trouble can be fun. Occasionally. Occasionally. Well, young man, your head's in the right place and you uh, you keep working. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing more of you. Um, yeah, but for point. now, check him out on Team Wolf.